Thank you so much, Cheryl, for that kind introduction, and good evening to all of you. Oh, I forgot. Maybe I forgot. Good evening. Good evening. All right. That sounds like the National Diversity Pre-Law Conference and, and Law Fair. Um, to, uh, to Evangeline and to the, the Pre-Law Advisory Board and to my fellow speakers and to all of you, uh, I greet you on behalf of the National Black Law Students Association and its board. Uh, a little bit about Nabalsa. Nabalsa is a student-run, uh, the largest student-run, uh, fully law student-run uh, 501c3 organization founded in 1968 by Algernon J. Cooper. Our mission is to increase the number of culturally responsible black and minority attorneys who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. And we in the Balsa have, uh, or at least we, we lay claim to, uh, the production of leaders and thinkers and doers uh, throughout the legal profession. Uh, and you will hear uh, some of those uh, tonight. I, I have the pleasure of uh, knowing Marcus, or Marquez, uh, forgive me if I've said that incorrectly. You were right. Uh, okay, I was right the first time. Should, you should go with your gut, just a free piece of advice. Um, a former president of Catholic University, uh, Columbus School of Law, Svalsa, and now he is speaking here before you today as, a, as an advocate and a leader. Um, and there are plenty of examples that span the generations. So Nabalsa has been there to nurture and develop and, and forged in the immediate, uh, well, not in aftermath, but really the, the some of the epicenter of the civil rights movement in 1968. Uh, they were there to agitate, to really bring the focus of black and minority law students uh, to the forefront. So why am I here today? That's a great question. Uh, I'm a fourth year law student and I'm an evening student and the reason that I am here is not just to go on about Nivalsa, and there's plenty to go on about, uh, is really to speak life and purpose into why you're here. Uh, and the, the why of why you're here is <clears throat> to really advance your own mission into law school. The, the best thing I heard at the previous conference with uh, the HBCU uh, pre-law conference in Greensboro was not from myself or one of the other speakers or one of the other uh, law student panelists, but it was from Demetra Liggins, uh, of, of another partner at a law firm, who really told among the various things that she said is to focus on the why of why you're going. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about briefly tonight. And it is remembering the why, and that is you know, honing in on the purpose of why you're here and why you're doing this. In what she said that, that particular day, she said that the why of why you're going to law school is the most important thing you can cultivate. And the reason for that is that it'll drive the, the reasons and the purpose of your entire endeavor throughout law school. Let me give you a glimpse of my why. My why is that I came from a small town in Tennessee called Chattanooga, which is not too far from Atlanta, six hours east of Memphis, and there's not a lot of, or at least at the time, there was not a lot of racial diversity, and there was not a lot of people going on to do amazing things. Our claims to fame uh, so far at that time were Samuel L. Jackson, who is fantastic, Chattanooga, by the way, um, and Usher. He doesn't claim us, but we claim him. <laughs> so that's it, two, in our community. And we held on to those two for dear life. So that being said, I wanted to figure out why it is that no one else talked about um, doing something great. You know, why did no one else talk about doing something amazing, like being on the Supreme Court, being in a courtroom, being uh, a fancy high-powered lawyer, which is the way that they were termed in our town. You didn't want to be a highfalutin, fancy, high-powered lawyer. You needed to sit down and you know find something nice to do. Um, and I found that so limiting. I found that so beneath the potential that all of us were given. And I, you know, as a, as a person of faith, I went to church all the time, and, you know, one of the things that they always said was, you know, you should believe that, you know, if you believe you can do, you know, he will do, you know, he being, you know, 
my particular creator, um, you can do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. And I said, well, you know, if that person and, and my belief system is in me, then what's stopping me? What's stopping me from doing exceedingly abundantly above all I can ask or think of myself? So, as I thought about law school and as I thought about going on to, you know, moving to Washington, D.C., 500 miles away, moving uh, into a place I had never been, in a town that was bigger than I had ever seen, um, I thought to myself, you know, I am here and I'm doing this because it is already within me to do it. Now, a lot of you have been here all day and have been here yesterday and you've heard so many different pieces of advice and, you know, I leave it to you to piece together the advice that is uh, most helpful to you. As my father used to say, chew the meat, spit out the bones. He liked chicken, so there's that. Um, the, what I will say to you in all of that advice as you download it, as you digest it, is that regardless of whatever your conclusion you come to, the quintessential piece you should walk away with, and I hope that this is something that you've gotten from every speaker you've gotten today, is that you have the ability and the, the knowledge and the passion to go to law school and be successful, whether that is as a lawyer, as a judge, as an advocate, as a you know, CEO, as a consultant, as a sports agent, whatever it is that is in your heart to do, you have the ability to go and do that. Whatever your why is, whatever your you know, passion that fuels you is, you already have the, the drive and the mechanisms to make that happen. I know that in BALSA, one of the things that BALSA does is fuel that why. We support each other, we come together to remind ourselves that regardless of the unfamiliar and sometimes unforgiving atmosphere that is around us, because let me be clear that the law school environment was not built around or built for us, specifically. But it can be conquered, mastered, and opened by us. We come together to say that to each other so that we reaffirm the ability that we have to overcome and to succeed. So I share that piece of also with you today, that your why is important that your purpose and your passion and your ability to succeed is important and it is valid and it is relevant and that I hope that you're walking away from here not with a list of, well, yes, with a list of things to do, with a list of people to contact, with a stack of schools to investigate, but with a renewed purpose and a renewed drive and a belief, hard felt belief, that you can and you will succeed. So with that, I thank you for the opportunity to bring a bit of balsa to you today.